Hi, this is Ryan with Front End Audio, and today I want to talk to you about the CAD M9 tube microphone. The M9 is a very unique tube microphone, and it boasts a lot of great features. First of all, you have a 1.1 inch gold sputtered diaphragm, and on the front here, you have a high pass filter that cuts on at 100 hertz. Here you have a 16 dB pad. So if you're recording drum overheads or any loud sources, say like a guitar as well, you can kick that in to uh, give you a little more headroom. The microphone, as you can see, also has a very cool satin, kind of modernized retro look to it that I think is very attractive. And another cool feature that I like about it is here on the back, if you can see here, it has a vent so it can breathe and the tube won't overheat. And I like that a lot. The M9 comes with a bunch of cool accessories. Not only do you have the microphone and the uh, power supply here, it comes with a shock mount. It also comes with this killer and very rugged uh, aluminum flight case. And if we open it up real quick here, I'll show you the rest of the accessories it comes with. As you can see, it's very well foam lined, so you have lots of uh, protection for your microphone during storage or travel. You have your seven pin connector cable here. It's a 30 foot tube cable for providing power and connection to your microphone from the uh, power supply. And it does have gold connectors on it, so you don't have to worry about corrosion or anything. You're going to get clean contacts there. You also have your power uh, cable for the power supply. And not only does it have the shock mount, it also comes with a hardtail mount. Looking at the power supply here, you have a very rugged all-metal chassis that uh, features a ground lift on the front. So if you have any issues with unclean power, you can definitely get rid of any unwanted noise. You have your standard XLR connector to run out to your mic free. And then you have your 7-pin connector right here to run to the microphone. On the back of the unit here, you have your power switch for cutting on and off the power supply. You have your connector plug here for your IEC cable. And you actually have a switch here to switch between 115 and European power. So overseas customers, you're good to go with this unit. Being that the M9 is a tube microphone, you're going to want to set it up prior to your recording sessions and let the tube warm up so that you can actually get the full character and resolution that the mic can provide. So I suggest at least letting the tube warm up about 30 minutes before you get to recording and, and getting your levels right. The microphone can handle an astounding 155 dB of SPL. So drummers, loud guitar cabs, whatever you want to throw at it, it can definitely handle. When I was testing this microphone out, I did notice that there is a great low-end response to it that really adds a lot of depth and detail so that you get a good full res you know, picture of what you're recording. But I did never really come across a situation where I felt that using the high pass was necessary. I can understand if you're using it for drum overheads, you probably want to engage it so that any transference of resonance from the vibration of the drums to the microphone would definitely be helpful. But, you know, whether you're recording guitar cabs, acoustic guitar, hand percussion, vocals, things of that nature, I didn't really see a necessity to engage that switch. So unless you're using it on drums, you can probably get away with just leaving it alone. Definitely with drums, you'll probably want to engage the 16 dB pad, though. And while the low end response is definitely great and adds a lot of body and depth to your tracks, the high end is very smooth and it gives you a nice extended range to it, which is kind of not typical of a whole lot of tube mics. They seem to be a little bit darker. This one has a full nice high end to it that's really smoothed out so you don't lose any of that clarity and detail. Now the one thing that's the kind of the character of this microphone is the mid range response from the low mids to the high mids, you have a nice, even kind of balance with it that really just adds a lot of you know, detail and, and dimension to your tracks. So if you're looking to record something, say like drum overheads, you're gonna get a nice smoothed out response on your cymbals that's not going to kill any of the clarity or crispness of them, but you're gonna have that low frequency response that's going to give the depth and dimension and that mid-range response that's gonna capture all the resonance and the attack of the drums. It's also going to provide a nice character to electric guitars that's going to actually give it a very natural, balanced sound and give you more to work with in the mixing process. 
Same with vocals. You're not going to have a muddy low end or muddy low mid kind of sound to it that's going to be harmful to say like a bass or baritone vocalist. And with the smoothed out top end and the good mid presence, you're not going to have a thinned out or hollowed sound to sopranos or altos. So for female or male vocals, it's going to perform very well. The one place that this microphone really blew me away on was actually acoustic guitars. There was enough low end response that I didn't lose any of the body and I could also pull that out a little bit in the mix if I needed to. But the smoothed out top end let the clarity of that of the strings come through when you're strumming or picking and give that kind of dimension that acoustic guitars are known for and you really expect out of the sound. But the mid range was just it was so pure and it just allowed for a very natural recording that it's I've kind of been searching for a while, you know, so I was very, very pleased by what this microphone can do on acoustic guitar, and all in all, it is a very utilitarian microphone, and virtually anything that you throw at it, it's going to do a great job at recording. So for more information on the CAD M9 tube microphone, and for all your pro audio needs, check us out on the web at www.frontendaudio.com. Thank you.